All right, so I'm getting ready to start doing some solar stuff. This is probably going to be um, going to probably be over the course of a few days. The transit has uh, these holes right here that are pre-threaded holes for a refrag, and all you have to do is uh, pop this little thing off, and then there's an M8 uh, M8 threaded hole there. And so I got these things off of Amazon. I think a four pack was like $15. I got two. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just putting these in there and then the goal is to lay some unistrut on top and have uniset, uh, unistrut sit on this section. So then I'll have one rail going along this side, one rail going along the other, and then I'll have some unistrut that goes perpendicular to those which I'll attach the solar panels to. I'm having some trouble with a few of these holes. Um, it's like, I guess there's like gunk, like uh, some glue or sealant or whatever they used. It got down into the threads and it's making it hard for, I've had issues with two of these so far. So I may have to figure something out with those, but yeah, that's the game plan. All right, update on solar. It is so hot today. So the last time that I did a video, I was showing these these things that I was putting on that went down the side um, as you can see here I put some sealant on it's not a super clear angle so as you can see here uh, I put sealant along the side so last time I was on here I was just uh, putting the the black things into the roof and then I put sealant sealant really uh, darkened but it said it was all weather so yeah, so I put that all around there just to make sure it was waterproof. And then what I did was I just got Unistrut. And I think this is 12 gauge. And Unistrut already has holes in it. So I was able to just lay those into the, uh, the, the bolts that were sticking up from the spacer things. And so, yeah, I um, was able to just lay the Unistrut and stick those bolts, bolts right through. And then... Uh, just put a, a washer and a nut on. On some of these, this section that it was going through just wasn't quite big enough, so I had to take out a, a bit and make it a little bit wider. Yeah, so that's uh, that's how I got the Unistrut on. And then what I'm, it feels pretty sturdy. And then um, this is for later, which I'll show you. So then what we're doing now is we created, we got two pieces of just aluminum angle bracket. And then those are gonna go perpendicular to the Unistrut. And so now what we're doing is just um, bolting, bolting the solar panels to this L bracket frame, to this angled frame. And I just put a, a one fourth inch bolt on each of the corners of the uh, of the solar panel. Esther's going around and tightening them. So hello, Esther. Esther was saved the day with getting bolts today. Uh, I'm gonna lift this up real quick, Esther, just to show it, just to show what's going on here. What I mean by this frame, uh, this frame. It's gonna just sit on is wide enough that if we put it on like this, it will. Uh, this section will overlay the unistrut, and then I'll just bolt into the unistrut, and that's the game plan. And that's uh, 400 watts of solar there. New Power was the brand on Amazon. They're about 200 each. So, yep, we'll see if this uh, is a nightmare getting it up there. Oh, and then one other small van update is I got this, uh, I got this uh, bug net for like $30 off Amazon. It's just uh, in the middle there is magnets. And so it's really easy to open. And then on the inside to attach it, on the inside to attach it, it's just Velcro along the sides. There are some custom type of things like this that you can order. They're like 800 to to $1,000. 
And how much about that? This was uh, $30 on Amazon, and I think it'll do just fine. Really easy to put up because it's just Velcro tape that I stuck along the sides. Um, this was made for a screen door, but it fits. It will fit both the sides. So yeah, all right, let's try to, I think we're, are we done with getting the stuff bolted? So it's time to, it's time to get them on the roof. All right. All right, still super hot, huh? <laughs> so we got this mounted on here. Uh, we used, um, what are these called? Push nut, uh, spring nuts to connect the, uh, it has things that grip the side of the, uh, the uh, unistrut and kind of holds it in place while you tighten. And so, we put that down there and then we just bolted into that and we did that each of the four corners and overall I mean this thing feels really sturdy like I can't I can't get it to budge I mean I'm pulling up I'm pulling sideways yeah this really feels pretty secure uh, I'm pretty confident with it how do you feel Esther so yeah, I am um, the next thing to do is down there where Esther is are the tape cables. We're gonna try to run those through one of the um apparently on the back of the uh 
on the back of these uh, transits, there is uh, a pre-threaded hole, or excuse me, a pre-drilled hole like the one we used to put these bolts through, but it doesn't have a thread. And so hoping we can just run, hoping we can just run the uh, cords through that. I got a solar entry gland, so yeah, running the running the cords through is what's next. But I'll have to get a crimping tool because I thought that I could just take off the MC4 connectors or the M4 connectors, or whatever they're called, and then put them back on. I didn't realize once the housing goes on, they're on forever. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited that this solar's on. And it's really hot, so forget this, right? Let's go inside. Yeah. Ice cream boba! <laughs>